but like you do make a, a comparison in terms in terms of like how intel from intelligence sources were stove piped to credulous or willing members of the media. Could you compare to like how that stove piping worked during the run up to the Iraq War and to the uh, RussiaGate story? Yeah, so st stove piping originally was this thing that uh, Seymour Hirsch wrote about it. I think I think it was actually called the stove pipe was the name of the article, and the whole idea was uh, Dick Cheney was tired of hearing from <laughs> other points of view in the intelligence community. And he, he wanted to basically stick a pipe down through uh, into the agency so he could get the, the analysis. The dumb waiter. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 wanted, he wanted the raw data that fit what he wanted to hear, and he wanted to be able to pull it up without having dissenting people clean it out. And so he takes this stovepiped information, and then he used this laundering technique to get it, to get it before the public and and this is you know this isn't the kind of thing if you're a reporter and, and this happens to you it's it, you it's a big red flag like basically what they would do is they would give somebody a scoop right they would say oh we found out that they're like you know importing yellow cake uranium from africa you know and uh, but off the record right <laughs> like, or uh, you can, anonymously so the new york times or somebody would do that story and then cheney like would go on tv that day and say well, according to the New York Times, mm, yeah. you know, uh, the, the, the Saddam Hussein is importing uranium from 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 Africa. So it's a trick. They're laundering, right? I and remember he, he went on. He would like like meet the press that Sunday. Meet the like, press that same day. Yeah. New York Times known that he sought a significant quantity of uranium from Niger. Right, and and if you're the editor of the New York Times. How do you not at that moment <laughs> yeah. know you've been fucked, right? Like, like at, at that exact moment, they, they should have just backed out, right? I mean, there were like, uh, there were like ninety moments like that before the war that should have that should have just told reporters something is really off here. 